The huge number of people moving to live in cities and towns across the world every day is one of the key trends of the 21st century. Over six billion people, or two-thirds of the global population, are expected to be living in urban areas by 2050. Nearly 20 years ago, the United Nations recognized the need for a global conversation to raise awareness, share knowledge, and promote collaboration about how to ensure this rapid urban trend would have a positive impact for everyone. In 2002, UN Habitat convened the first World Urban Forum, which quickly became known as WOOF. The World Urban Forum is a United Nations event and takes place every two years. Everyone can attend the World Urban Forum. This is an amazing platform where everybody from the leaders, from the communities, from the stakeholders, from the grassroots, they can join us and participate. The participants at the World Urban Forum reflects the mix of people that makes our town and cities a place to stay. The first World Urban Forum took place in 2002 in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, where UN Habitat has its headquarters. So in this room, uh, at the end of April, beginning of May 2002, we negotiated the rules of procedure. We also, when I say we, the member states in fact, uh, decided that the World Urban Forum will not be um, a decision-making organ. It will be an advisory body to UN Habitat. The World Urban Forum was established as a global think tank on all urban matters and also with a view to ensure more visibility to the partnership principle at the global level. At WOOF 1, the issues around sustainable urbanization were discussed by over 1,000 participants from 81 countries. Since then, every two years, a World Urban Forum has been hosted by a city. Barcelona, Vancouver, Nanjing, Rio de Janeiro, Naples, Medellin and Kuala Lumpur have all held exciting, vibrant events. So what is important here, the conference has developed to become the most important conference on urbanization issues. Each event is anchored around a pertinent theme, such as the right to the city, the urban future, and cities for life. And the six main dialogues are high-level discussions and debates on these themes. The number of participants has swollen to 20,000 from over 150 countries. And the delegates are a cross-section of heads of state, mayors, academics, business leaders, civil society, and policymakers. I consider the World Urban Forum as a success story, as an important success story, which go a bit beyond my expectation when we created this forum in 2002. And uh, if it grows from session to session, quantitatively and qualitatively, it's because simply it responds to a real need. WOOF 10 is the first major UN event in 2020, which marks the start of the decade of action leading up to 2030, the target date for the Sustainable Development Goals. Cities will play a critical role in achieving the goals, and culture and innovation are an integral part of driving and shaping urban development. Actually, this is the first big UN conference to kick off this critical decade. And it is very, very fitting because the battle to achieve sustainable development will be won or lost in our cities. This year's theme of culture and innovation is key to sustainable urbanization and Abu Dhabi is the perfect setting as a city of rich history and dynamic future. So this is indeed a city of opportunities where culture meets innovation in planning, managing the urban space and human settlement. We need to manage our cities properly to improve the life of everybody and ensure the future of our planet. So I really look forward to meeting, listening, learning from everyone here in the World Urban Forum 10.